All right, today we're going to talk about printing. This type of print is called a monoprint because you make one print when you put the paint on one print. You can do it on different types, different colors. Each time you paint it, you can make it different. We're going to be carving it out of styrofoam plates here. They're pretty good for printing. But the first thing we need to do is pick out our design. And we're going to be designing based on bridges of Portland here. So you can kind of look at all the different bridges we have. Lots of options. Look at all these different designs. They're all very different. I think that one up there is the St. John's Bridge. You can see those towers there, pretty recognizable. Let's give that one a try. So first, before I start carving into the styrofoam, I'm going to plan my design. So if you're not sure about the size, you can kind of look at, okay, that'll probably, you could trace it out on your paper, kind of get an idea of, okay, it needs to fit in that size. And we can scribble all of our paper all we want because it's just scrap paper. We're going to be printing, we want the final part on the styrofoam. So within here, I'm going to draw my bridge. Start drawing the bridge. I'm going to start lightly so I can kind of get the, get the idea of where it's going. I don't need to worry about erasing because I only am going to keep the lines that I want on my styrofoam. Starting to look like a bridge here. It's got its little arches. I don't have to be too careful, but I need to be able to look at it and know what I'm talking about here. It's starting to look a little more like the St. John's Bridge. And get those wires in here, the cables that hold everything up. So I'm starting to kind of plan it out here. Going pretty quick. You can go a little slower if you want. If you need to take some more time, no need to rush. Plan it out till you understand, okay, I think that's what I want to do. Now we take it over to the styrofoam. This is where the pressure is on because you got one shot. This is So when you're drawing in, you want to press hard enough. You might even break the paper that that way you're carving into it. If you need to use some tape to hold it down, that might be a good idea so that we can not mess up our drawings. But you want to feel the styrofoam pushing into it underneath your paper. It's going to be kind of weird, but this will give us our guide so that we can make this successful here. Carving in. Ooh. I'm kind of messy with my one hand here. Getting so I'm gonna peek. Might not be a good idea. So you can almost see that's going on there. I'm gonna put that back. I don't recommend picking it up because now I don't know where my matching pieces went. I gotta be really careful with that. So drawing the lines of the bridge. Cross. Getting it in there so I can, it's starting to see, you can see it's cutting the paper open. That's fine. As long as it's not breaking the styrofoam, just carving into it. And I'm actually going to take a look at it here. Okay, so we're starting to get the idea. I'm going to go over it with my pencil and fix it and clean it up. So now I have kind of a guide, and this you'll see a lot easier because of the pencil. You kind of see where you're drawing. That's okay if it gets a little funky. Work with it because this is your plate. Whatever you draw in here is yours. So make it good. I'm gonna fix that. Fixing. If I made a mark, oh well. Let's just work with it. It's starting to look like a bridge a little bit. And the deeper my curt, my deeper my marks, the better, the clearer the image it will be. So it's good. You can go over it a couple times maybe to really make sure marks get in there. Don't want to break the plate, but a few little pokes here and there isn't going to hurt anybody. So let's make this bridge look like the St. John's Bridge. Get it looking good here. Give it those 
arcs, maybe some of those in there. And it's kind of a weird angle, so you can't really see all the parts of it. I think that's not too bad. So there we have that. There was my original drawing. Styrofoam, reference bridges. Now let's see what happens when I paint it. And it's all part of the process of finding out what's going to happen. I'm going to try it out on a yellow paper and a black paper. So let's, uh, let's put some blue down at the bottom here. And all around. You don't want it too thick because if it gets in the grooves, you don't want the, the paint inside the grooves coming out. So it doesn't need to be too thick. And let's try some of this. And when you're putting the paint on, really think about how your marks might look on paper. Do you want lots of little brush strokes? Do you want blobby texture? Because whatever we put on here is getting printed with it. It's not just going to be solid color. However you lay the paint on is how it's going to look. Obviously, it'll change a little bit once we get there. That's pretty cool. Let's see what happens. And you can see some spots didn't even pick up paint. And that's great, because then I know those definitely aren't going to show through. Let's try the black first here. So we just put it nice and centered. You want to press it down. Maybe squeeze it a little bit. Don't squish it too much so that you're pressing on the the drawing part, but press, make sure the paint gets off the plate and onto the paper. And the reveal. Ta da! Hey, not too bad. Kind of cool. All right, let's see what yellow looks like. So, mono print. There was my one print. One mono. Now, if I want to make another one, I gotta start over. Luckily, I have my plate already, and I can just paint the color. If I can get the plate to stay still. Color, color, color. Put some sky color back in there. All right, let's see what it looks like on yellow. Yellow paper. My one print. I'm gonna try and center it pretty well. Put it down. There we go. And the reveal. Ooh, I think that one came out even better. Cool. All right, you can kind of see it's a bridge, and that's that's how you're making monoprints here. All the supplies.